Hello everybody and welcome to the Simple Podcast. I am your host, Luke, but you might probably don't know me as Luke Not Lucas. I am joined today by my friend Jaden. Hi, you don't know me as anybody. I'm a nobody. Uh, Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> my friend Ford. Hi, you may know me as a name that I created when I was 12, so I'm not going to state it. Alright, and uh, my friend Trinity. Hi. And special guest, Nate from Nate is Lame. Hi, my name is Milo Edwards. I'm an SJW. <laughs> God. I'm here to talk to you about all 47 genders and why you're a racist. Hey, it's 52. <laughs> no, those uh, are Actually, fake. it's 53. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you cis, you cis you- white male. Get out of oh, here. Right. You're oppressing me with your presence. Anyways, be- before we before we get rid of all of our audience, who are you, Nate? Uh, my name is uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> I am related oh, to Die Scarlett. Hard? No, it's not. I oh. wish it was. Scarlett both plants. My name is Nate, and I make generic animation content that people seem to watch for some reason. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's pretty sad that you know society's come to this. Get better right. taste in things, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good advice. Um, yeah, anyways, quit watching uh, my videos. Yeah. Congratulations on hitting 100,000 subscribers. Like, well, month, the th- a month th- well, ago. The, I can't. If I say that I hit 100,000 subscribers, that's kind of like admitting to it, you know, and that means they can press charges. So allegedly, <laughs> I hit 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, alleged, I don't want to like come out Actually, and say. Are you scripting all this in your head, or is this all just like coming to you? Seven subscribers. Where are you getting this evidence, detective? Because I don't <laughs> believe it. I'm getting it from uh, the channel known as Nate Islame. I think. Islamic <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a dirty <laughs> communist. Nate, Islam. Nate Islamic terrorism. I think that's what it says. <laughs> Nathaniel yeah. Islam. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, if we want to get technical, those guys aren't really Islamic the same way that, like, the Ku Klux Klan is Christian, but I mean, whatever. Like I said, I'm an SJW at the beginning of this video. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> exactly. It was Milo. I don't remember the last I name. I will correct you on every microaggression. All right. Okay. Oh. I mean, I you think know. this is a meme, but I'm not kidding. All right. <laughs> All right, Nate. Um, oh, cool. Is everybody so... gone? What's up? Congratulations. Hey. Not only the uh, unknown amount of subscribers, but also the mass Legend. assault. Also, what? Graduating. Graduating. Mm-hmm. That was a mess and a half. Graduating from middle school. Good job. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. We had a we had a party. I'm not gonna clap. Yeah, don't clap. Don't <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's like it's like family feud where everybody just claps for like no reason. And there's like this look of pain and desperation <laughs> yeah. in their eyes. No, or it's like when people live in North Carolina and they clap at the end of the movie, like they can like the developers and people. Or like can see it's only it. white it's like, people that do that. I've never seen a black family do that. Although it might yeah, have something no, to do with uh, me living uh, in Idaho because there are black people here anyway. Yeah, exactly. Is it Idaho we're, or Utah? We're from. We're from Michigan, so... Oh, my God. And we're from a very, very, very white part of Michigan. Oh, yes. It's a No, it's a very white country part of Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, there's, exactly. nothing, there's nothing. We have a drive your time. tractor to school day here. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And, like, and, like, half of our school population drives trucks with Confederate flags on the back. Yeah, Ew. Confederate or American it's, flags. It if you want to get technical, one. those are actually Dixiecrat flags, which was specifically a white supremacist group that revitalized the. Um, what, what's the one guy who like fought in the battle? It was it was the one of the biggest battles in the Civil War. Either way, it's a it's a specifically white supremacist symbol. Um, hi, great. what's up? This is the political show with <laughs> Nate is lame and four other kids Welcome trying to, to keep an honest podcast, podcast going. Podcast. Welcome to the political podcast. Where right. we will block you if you disagree with anything we say. <laughs> exactly. Yep. I mean, All right, okay. so Nate, to... Uh, ooh. Sorry, I was going to say, you know, technically... I'm going to go die real quick. <laughs> yeah? Technically, I'm in Grand Haven, so... Oh, sorry about that. Is that like sorry. Canada or something? Uh, no, it no it's just like a little an hour further away than from us. us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it's sounds a, Canadian. It's a bunch of like white privileged well, kids. Well, we're, in we're in Michigan. Everything here is basically Canadian. We have I have walking distance from a Tim Hortons for God's we're sake. Ba- we're basically South Canadian. We are. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell like, you like an can I tell you like an embarrassing story? 
Mm-hmm. Of course. Go right ahead. When I was like 10, Coraline was coming out, you know? Remember yeah. that movie? Oh, I love that, that movie. movie was great. I was obsessed with that movie. I saw all the trailers. I read the book. I bought the book. I got it like signed by the author. I so I when I sent the book off, I bought another copy to keep so I could read while he was signing the book. <laughs> so I had two copies and one of them was signed. And so basically, um, I was obsessed and I went to go see it the day it came out. I skipped school. I went with my parents, I took my friends, and we all sat down, we watched it in 3D. I was already writing fan fiction for it and stuff oh, when I was God. like, okay, it was, I told you this is a mess. And so... <laughs> Literally writing fan fiction for it while you're sitting in the theater. <laughs> I, I have never sat through an entire director's commentary for, you know, like, they replaced the audio with, like, yeah. the cast just talking over the movie. I've never sat through one of those until I got Coraline. I sat through the whole thing... And they were talking about like the tiny, insane details they put in there. And apparently, Coraline is from Michigan. Did you guys know that? I did not know that. Nope. So, the actress, Dakota Fanning, she had to learn a Michiganian accent. Oh, really? And I. I'm not even from Michigan. (laughs) Well, I mean, you guys say it's. People in Michigan, they say like. Ah, uh, uh, a little bit weird, like yeah. Oh, my uh, grand, my grandpa says a. He's full on like does the Canadian a. Well, it's not um, quite. It's not quite Canadian. It has like this weird. You'll, you, you look it up on YouTube. Yeah, there's and so a, basically, there's actually, there are a few things. Like I that. watched, I watched Coraline so many times that I kind of subconsciously gave myself like this weird, almost Michigan accent. <laughs> so I'm it's like, okay. you're you know, one of us now. You're one of us. Hey, Dad. Oh my god, you know, kind oh of thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's and basically another big dead. thing with, with wait, Michigan there's is that we talk faster yeah. than most other wait, or not how, not most okay. other, but we talk a bit fast. Nate, how do you say dad? I I say dad. It's almost oh, like dad. dad. It's it's this <laughs> weird th- this is all Coraline's fault, yeah. I'm like, "Hey dad, 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 dad uh, you know?" Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Do they say, like, Dodd or something? Is that what no, I'm not saying? not Dodd. What am I like? If I ever say Dodd, I'm jumping off a building. <laughs> Dude, I love Milk Dodds. <laughs> milk Dodds are my favorite candy. If uh, I ever call my dogs. father Dodd, I want you to, like, come to my house and, like, stick a pickaxe in my eye or something. My grandma's in the corner of the room. She's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Dude, get her in here. Get, yeah, get her on the podcast <laughs> real quick. We, uh, we want to interview her. Get out of I here. I don't want to expose her to you guys as a dirty PG-13 mouths. Expose her. <laughs> this is an interview right, podcast, so- Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Um, another fun oh, no, it's crazy, not like I swear. the radio. No, it's not like the radio. <laughs> another fun fact, the only reason that my videos are family friendly is because my grandma watches my videos. Uh, <laughs> that's basically the same thing, but my dad watches my videos. Yeah, like... If yeah. I made videos... Yeah, same. It would not be censored for anyone who watches them. Well, wait until AdSense kicks in, then you're gonna want to censor them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm kind of worried Demonetization. about Demonetization. Like, even, even PewDiePie is starting to censor himself now. Like, if you watch any of hey. his new videos, no F-words anymore. That's because YouTube's Ooh. cracking down on a harsh language. Mm. You can't get demonetized if you were never monetized in the first place. Exactly. Good point. There you go. <laughs> Therefore, it's no loss. You just never had it. <laughs> well, that's kind of the loss of potential, right? Yeah, yeah. And I love that YouTube's YouTube's like reaction to this was let's make sub- let's make paid subscriptions. I think I really like what YouTube is doing with the new monetization stuff. Um, for example, like um, the premiere. I don't know if you guys stay up to date with this, but I get like all the creator updates and stuff and all the cool things that they're doing. Um, you know, for creators. Oh yeah. And so basically they're doing like this new thing called premieres and stuff where you upload a video and it plays in real time like a live video. So like you've already oh. made the video, but it plays and so people can like comment as they watch and they can donate money and it's awesome. That's actually really freaking cool. I was going to do the yeah. bad word. And <laughs> the thing is like also like the paid subscription that you mentioned, it's not really like that. Like it's an optional additional like, hey, do well, you like yeah. this creator? Donate two or five bucks and you can get yeah. this extra stuff that they put out. True. So it's True. it's like Patreon, but not as good as Patreon. Yeah, I was, I was going to say it's kind of like a Patreon situation. 
Plus, they also did like the thing with Teespring now. So, like, if you have a merch shop on Teespring, your merchandise appears right underneath your videos. So I was like, oh, "Sorry, yeah. spread shot. Uh, sorry, spread shirt. I'm out of here." So I moved all of my merchandise over to Teespring, and now, if you watch my videos, you get bombarded with commercialism. Yay! You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta make money. I was thinking about <laughs> buying one of your shirts, and I was like, "Wait, I have forty dollars." Yeah, <laughs> do it. They're like fifteen bucks. Yeah, well, they're they're cheap. I, also I make them gas cheap. Money. That's good. Though. No, you don't. You have nowhere to go. I thought you said you don't have any friends. Yeah. No, that was me. That was that was Jaden. That was Jaden. And he oh, okay. can't. Well, he can't drive yet. Not not I yet. I mean, I can't he either. Has to come to Grand Haven so he can visit me. Yeah. Uh -huh. I do. Oh, Kurt being so selfish. She obviously needs a shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. I make more money than well, all of them, and all I do is yourself. babysit. <laughs> yeah. It's sad. Well, I make seven eighty working at a pizza place. Ouch. Yeah, I make like forty dollars a day working babysitting. It's great. What, what is what it? What do you want, Trinity? I make, I make seven ninety working at uh, the I same know. place. Frick you! <laughs> the gender pay gap uh -huh. is don't real. You, don't... <laughs> yeah, except for it's higher, which is okay. Um, yeah, I had that predicament when I first when I when when. Like, when well, uh, yeah, I remember when because one of my one of our friends Ben got a raise and Ford did. He didn't get a raise. His starting pay was just higher than mine. <laughs> oh yeah. I think that's probably my favorite thing about YouTube so far is that I don't have to work at fast food or any other places anymore. Mm -hmm. So I just, I hang out while like my little brother and stuff, he has like a job at Taco Bell. And so he like has to leave the house every day and he has to stand and he has to run around and take orders and get yelled at while I'm, I'm sitting at home watching Netflix. My dad's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> getting the getting the brain juices flowing. Yeah, yeah. like it's like, called couch time. <laughs> I I went to VidCon and I saw a panel about um keeping your sanity being a YouTuber, so like balancing like real life and YouTube life kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And basically they said something that was kind of interesting. They said if you're a an author, you need to spend a lot of time reading books. If you're a movie director, you need to spend a lot of time watching movies. If you're a YouTuber, what do you need to do? You need to spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos. And I'm like, I don't watch as much YouTube as I used to. So I'm trying to like buckle down and watch YouTube videos. So now my mom is like, Nate. You should... make YouTube. I know. So it's like my mom's <laughs> like, shouldn't she be working? And I'm like, I am. She's like, you're watching Swoozy for the 40th time. And I'm like, I'm This I'm is the creative his... process, mother. This is the creative process, mom. I need to find ideas to rip off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's something that I'm really worried about. Like, whenever I try and make content, I, I I try, I like, I feel really bad when I make something that's not, like, original. There's and, there's not an original thing under the sun, TBH. Yeah, you just gotta I pray know. that whoever's watching your videos is not, um, oh, whoever's watching your videos, they don't know about the source material you're ripping from. <laughs> that's the trick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's sort of the opposite thing with your channel, because I'm pretty sure, like, at least 80% of your subscribers, maybe even more, are subscribed to James. Yeah, you know, like, James is a cool kid and stuff. It's just, I feel like I'm more in common with Swoozy than James. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. That's 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 just so. what I go for, anyway. Um, you know, no shade to James, though. He's, like, a super cool kid. Really nice. Holy cow. Well, spe speaking of which, what got you started with all that? Like, how did you, how did the process start with james um you know what i i made some friends um with in the animation community kind of thing um maz actually he's he does the amazing and he's wonderful super cool sweet guy and basically i was in town like a day early for vidcon and i was like hey maz you want to go get lunch or dinner and he was like um no i was <laughs> like what what you up to and he said oh i'm at a I'm at a beach party. Do you want to come over? And I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. So I, I drove. I spent 30 bucks on an Uber, and I went all the way down to Huntington Beach. And I was like, I have no idea what Moz looks like. Because <laughs> all I see is just like a cartoon, you know? Yeah. So, and I didn't realize how big the beach was. It is massive. So I'm walking around, like, mindless. I have no idea where I'm going. And I'm like, I'm looking for someone familiar. I don't know who. And then I see this shining white body in a bright <laughs> red suit wearing sunglasses. I'm like, that looks, that person looks familiar. 
but you know I can't see because again he's he's gleaming white <laughs> and so I'm like oh snap that's the odd ones out that's James Damn. and he he came right up to me and he was like hey man what's up what's your name and I introduced myself and he was like oh cool I'm James and I was like and you're like I know <laughs> <laughs> I mean I guess I was trying, you know, I, I kept my cool and that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. On the inside, I was kind of freaking out. But then after four seconds, I realized James is kind of a nerd. <laughs> Everyone here, because like the place was full of people, you know, there was the Amazing, there was Emery Chan. I'm so sorry if she's listening. I have no idea. Illimations, um, there was Tabs. Tab, you know, I thought Tabs would be really intimidating. Um, tabs isn't. <laughs> You know, Tabs was, re- you know, everyone's super nice. Everyone's really down to earth. And that was kind of weird because I've been watching these people for years. And then I'm like, you guys are nerds. You're all normal people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I didn't feel intimidated. I felt welcome. I felt right at home. And, you know, I'm, I made new friends and stuff. And I'm like, hopefully I can make some videos with some of these kids someday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, it was incredible. And, we um, get some connections. you know. Moz was the coolest guy ever. He was so easy to talk to because, again, I live in Idaho and nobody in Idaho really does YouTube. And mm-hmm. so basically, I have no one really to talk to or hang out to aside from like my friends, King Queen of the Losers. And it was wonderful to be able to just sit down and talk YouTube with somebody, you know? So that's what Moz and I did. We just sat there and we talked about, you know, gossip and drama and, you know, YouTube, the platform, and interacting with fans, and that it was amazing. And uh, the next day, or something like that, I had this meeting with James. I won like some lottery or whatever, and so I got to like sit down in a room with James. The odd ones out for like an hour. It was just me and like four other people, and Mm -hmm. so I just really got to sit there and chat with him, like kind of almost one on one. It felt like. And just get this really in-depth, you know, questions and answers. And I kind of realized that he's just a guy. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's just, you know, he's like 20, 21 years old. And he this massive thing just hit him. And he just, he feels like some kid that could live down your... Shut up, phone. I'm trying to do an interview. <laughs> the odd one's out. He just feels like this kid who had this massive audience just handed to him. And he's like, well, I'll just keep on doing what I'm doing. And so it was really refreshing because I'm like, you know, it everything now feels really genuine when I'm watching his videos again. He's super genuine, super down to earth. Just you a, know that he's actually what he's like in his videos. Yeah, he's, yeah, it, it's it's pretty similar and stuff. His stories are like straight up too. You know, it's like everything stayed consistent. He's 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 a real person. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and it was I, crazy. I, I, I've talked to a few, like, YouTubers, um, like, uh, <coughs> I, I uh, played about 30 hours of Rust with this guy named, uh, oh, frick. Shoddy Steve. Shoddy Steve, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, and then I'm also friends with Shammy slash Avery. Oh, I Discord, like Shammy. Yeah, we, we barely talked, though. Like, honestly, let me, let me look back at our Discord history. Let's see. I've got... Probably about double the amount of messages than he has sent to me. <laughs> but, hey, I'm still friends with him on Discord, so frick it. Um, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Aren't you only friends on Discord with him because you, like, begged him to no, keep No, 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 I won a YouTube poop contest. I made a YouTube poop for him, and I got third place out of three submissions. And <laughs> so he friended me to, to try and give me a, a reward, and I was like, um... No, you don't have to give me a reward. Just don't unfriend me. <laughs> yeah, so like, so he, he okay. kept you on his friends list out of pity. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> that's, Shane, that's you're such a sad. buzzkill, Jesus. Yeah. But I, I also I also met <laughs> Jack the guy for a very short period of time. Oh, um, he's cool. On Omega. Yeah. yeah, I on his one million subscriber special, I, I saw him on Omega. Don't watch the video because I'm like in sixth grade you should um, definitely make, sure to, make sure to insert insert <laughs> that part here because it is a priceless piece you have to now i basically just sort of freaked out and i sw- you said oh my effing god and, and you covered sis- your mouth then my sister looked at me she was like 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, that's good. Funny. Watch your I've language, sixth grade year old kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Nate. I'm going to go find that video and I'm going to find it. And I'm gonna you keep clear. on getting trampled, <laughs> Trinity. These kids don't yeah. like <laughs> mansplaining. I'm sorry. Right go now. Ahead, I'm sorry, Trinity. Trinity. <laughs> sorry, don't be stupid by now. Um, that's sad. I was, <laughs> no, I was going to ask you um, what would you say your greatest challenges of life have been? Wow, that is a hard <laughs> question. <laughs> Way to hit him hard. Well, because I mean, she's been trying to ask this now. question for the past 20 minutes, so it better be good. I am a cis white male, so I don't really face any serious challenges. <laughs> Your um, name is Milo. I forgot what the last name was. It's just Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever. Is stupid. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand that guy. Um, that is a fantastic question I've never really considered. Because I guess I'm really lucky because I'm having trouble with this question because I've never really faced any serious challenges because with me I am the type of person to get things done so either it works out in my favor or it doesn't and I leave it alone you know there are no long struggles that really plague me for a long time I either kill it or I leave it alone so I would say most of the time it's just me working up motivation to do things because once I get going I'm really good at networking. I'm really good at getting people to do jobs I'm not able to do. I'm really good at, you know, finding out what I need to get a job done and then doing it. You know, so I was able to do a full-blown punk rock music festival in my hometown. I've, start, I've you know, worked in movies and films locally. I've done, you know, like half a dozen bands. And now I'm doing YouTube and stuff. So I guess challenges are kind of my bread and butter. I actively seek them out and I either do a good job or I don't. So does that <laughs> almost answer your question? Yeah, it does. Would you say that your past experiences of that, of like the local filmmaking and such have built on like helped you like start that YouTube experience? You know, I don't think so. <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, you know, <laughs> Most of the, most of what, yeah. <clears throat> if anything, um, I'd like to start incorporating more professional film elements into what I do, I guess. I would like to um, start, I'd, you know, not change Nate's lame or anything, but I would love mm -hmm. to write up a script and have like a YouTube original because my issue with YouTube originals is that they're all so bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. They okay. Are... No. There's there's one that I watched no, there's not. that I really like. I like Minefield. No. 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 no, no. Minefield no, is just Vsauce, but worse. Corridor Digitals. <laughs> None of them are good. I, I would like to so. do like I I've had this script in the back of my head forever. It's like this psychological. It sounds so, God, because what I have imagined is like, it sounds cliched and dumb and stupid if I explain it to you. It's just the way I want it to be executed. Because I want it That's to be, the thing, though. yeah. Sorry, go continue. Basically, I have this. It's it's about these kids. They go out camping and stuff, and they meet this really nice guy fishing, and he's like, "Oh yeah, cool. Where are you guys staying?" And they're they're dumb college kids, so they tell him. He shows up, and he kidnaps all these kids, and he takes them to this cabin in the middle of nowhere. And basically, what he does is he has this web show, where on the dark web he like gets these millionaires and stuff to watch. Shut up, phone. He gets these millionaires to watch and basically it's kind of like Survivor, but they're actually surviving. So they're like tied up to chairs <laughs> yeah. and like, okay, you got to cut off your buddy's finger or else, you know, you're going to die and stuff. And so essentially these kids torture each other and it's like a horror movie kind of thing. But what happens, you know, when the camera's not rolling, they're sent into like these cells and stuff. The guy who runs the whole thing, he's like this psycho manipulator. So he's able to sit down with these kids and be like, listen. I like you, so I'm going to rig the game in your favor. But he's telling everybody this, so everyone thinks that the game is rigged in their favor, and then they're, like, freaking out and stuff. And they're like, okay, um, I got to do this crazy thing. And then it turns out that he was lying to them, and then, you know, it's horrible and psycho. And it's just, does am I boring anybody? No. No, no I, I find this not. super interesting. No, it's, yeah, I would watch the hell out of and that. And I've, I've been looking into, like, 
the art of war and stuff. If you guys have read that and stuff, there's some brilliant like psychological tricks. And I'm like, why hasn't anyone put these into a horror movie? So I'd like to do like some philosophical, you know, psychological stuff with this horror movie. Did I mention I got really bad grades in school? <laughs> <laughs> I sound really smart right now. That's and awesome. my idea, I would love to have Swoozy star in it for some reason. I'm like, he would be so charismatic. And can you imagine Swoozy getting like murder, kill, psycho in his eyes? Oh my God. That would be yeah. so awesome. Hey, kids, I will be right back. I need to get a glass of water because I'm still fighting a cold and my throat is like. <laughs> All right. So I'll be right back. Okay. Popping off a quick break. I'm gonna go. Gr- I'm gonna go do the same. Actually, I'm gonna go grab. Okay. Some water yeah. Well. Just got to thirty, and I'll be back. Right, water um, break for everyone. Gracias. Quick break. Yep. All right. <laughs> meet back in five. It was like, how did this? Uh, how did this turn into this? Already, I've returned. Fart salad. Oh, fart dude. salad. One butt salad. Us. I think you mean butt salad from uh, Battlebox Theater. One no. of us. Is there's this kid. There's this kid who follows me on Twitter, and his name is Fart Salad, and it's like I want to <laughs> steal his username. <laughs> Because that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Well. <laughs> and 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 go to the go to that specified time. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I might do that after the uh, podcast. How long have we been going, by the way? Um, um I'm thirty I've minutes. Got like, so we're halfway yeah. there. Twenty nine minutes. All right. Um. I don't know. I started saying something, but there's absolutely nothing to say. I've got I've got a little thing uh, to continue off of the YouTube Red thing. Do you think that like YouTube, the YouTube Premium? Here, or, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The re, the the re rename, the YouTube Premium. Um, do you think that the script being bad is of their own choosing, or do you think that like YouTube is like putting <laughs> in a say that's kind of making them this way? Oh my God. Listen, I had this whole, like, <laughs> rant ready at VidCon, and this is going to be going into my VidCon video when I make it, like, two months down the line and VidCon's no longer relevant. <laughs> so, basically, um, do, 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 do any of you guys follow Liza Kashi? No idea no, who that nope. is. Lucky you. <laughs> I'm not a fan of her content. <laughs> She's kind of like, okay, this is going to answer your question, I promise, but it's kind of like a story thing-ish, almost. It'll be three seconds. Basically, she's kind of like this vlogger and stuff, and she's got, like, way too many subscribers, and a lot of white girls love her and stuff. And, you know, she's she's charismatic. She's fun to listen to. It's just she doesn't really have anything of substance to say. Mm-hmm. You know, she's one of those YouTubers. Like, Tana Mongo, but... Not as bad as Tana Mongo. I almost feel bad comparing her to Tana Mongo. I don't like Tana Mongo. Heck no. her. And so basically, she has this new YouTube premium series called Liza On Demand. And I was there at the premiere, and it was awful. Holy cow. It was. It's like this new pr- series and stuff, and it sucked. It is so bad. You know, just like every other YouTube series, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> Scare PewDiePie, that sucked. Yeah. Um, Minefield, I feel, is so muted and watered down. It sucks. I haven't seen anything from YouTube. And I guess it's because YouTube is trying to be like Netflix. And that's not what YouTube is. Yeah. YouTube is is not... Yeah, YouTube is not scripted stuff. YouTube is not, you know, silly people doing pre-planned shenanigans and whatever. YouTube is people being genuine, talking to a camera, and essentially it's this counter media and stuff where, you know, in the regular media stuff is planned out and it's scripted and it's artificial and it's silly. It's fun, but it's not real life. YouTube is trying to be like real life, but now they're trying to throw that all aside for their premium content. So now Liza Kashi, God bless her, at least she's like, you know, telling stories from her life. Now it's this scripted, dumb sitcom thing. And that's not why people like her. And YouTube doesn't realize that. So they're trying to throw these brands and stuff into their series, but that's not what they should be doing with Mm -hmm. them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I think that's YouTube Premium's biggest issue is that they don't, know why people watch YouTube. And that sucks, because the people who should know why people watch YouTube should be the people at YouTube. 
<laughs> yeah, because because YouTube people, is supposed YouTube. to be like spontaneous, non-scripted, but then it's like they're trying to script life, basically. Exactly. So, why I want to do like a horror movie for YouTube is because like, uh, you know, it's not being marketed as like, you know, Swoozy is a serial killer. It'll be like, you know, this is a horror movie and you have a YouTuber in it. You know, yeah. but it's it's like a movie first. Like, I want them to be doing more stuff like that where people are not trying to play themselves. You know, it worked in This is the End, but they were the only people able to pull that off. Alrighty. Good movie, by the way. I recommend it. Um, so, okay, go ahead. Trin. Ha. You've only asked one question, and I feel bad, so go. <laughs> Don't mansplain over Trinity. <laughs> um... I was going to ask you, how often do you get in trouble for your shenanigans? Like, what happened after uh, your video with the playing more than one song? I want to know. A, that's a good story. Because, like, you had the satiri- satirical bit at the end. But I want to hear the real story of what actually happened after that. Like, what happened All right. after the camera stopped rolling? This is what actually happened. <laughs> Holy cow. So basically, we played the talent show. We did an extra song. We didn't tell anybody. Um, so basically, oh, wow, this is a good story. We packed up our stuff and we ran off. We were like, nope. And, uh, you know, the, the audience was a little confused. They're like, that was long. And the kids, you know, backstage were freaking out. Like, what are they doing? They shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and so as we were like unpacking and stuff like the stage hands were like you guys are douchebags and we're like yeah we're seniors <laughs> and, uh-huh and so we went back into the green room where they have all of the other talent show performers and the kid who put it together he's like this freshman or something like that and they have like this cast like connecting all students together cast it's like you know an acronym Oh, and you, you, you know, it's all the preppy kids and you can see like this, like their eyes don't have souls. They're creepy <laughs> kids. <laughs> They're the ones who put together all the events and stuff. And so the kid walks up to me and he was like, you ruined the talent show. <laughs> I can't believe this. I could kill everybody in this room right now. I'm so angry. I, you know, and he, I, you know, he peppered it with a couple F words and stuff. I was talking to some kids who thought what we did was the coolest thing ever. And I was like, you know, it was, yeah, I was like, you know, I was telling these kids privately. I'm like, you know, screw these guys. You know, they're, they're ruling this with an iron fist and it's supposed to be fun, but it's not the kid overheard me. (laughs) So he like bumped into me with his shoulder and he was like, you kids are horrible, awful, disgusting. I'm going to make sure you guys don't win this thing. So... (laughs) He got the entire cast, everybody in the high school cast hated us. So they all got together and they went up to the judges and they complained and tattled on us. Oh no, did we lose somebody? Where'd Luke go? Oh no, where's everybody oh, no. going? <laughs> oh no. <coughs> I'll, I'll keep telling the story. Okay. And so basically, everybody, uh, oh poor Luke, his microphone did an oof. Did an oof, burb. <laughs> Basically, the, they went and told the judges, and they were like, these kids don't deserve to win. And so the judges were like, okay, we'll just scratch their name off. So we didn't place. We didn't make first or second or third place. So that means that we were exempt from the $100 grand prize. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> but we posted on YouTube. It got 2 million views, and I don't like to talk about money all that much, but we made over $2,000 with that video. <laughs> Damn. That's that's one. So that's, we because you guys got like you still got what you deserve from that. Like that was wow. I love how it, how the prize money was less than what you made off the video yeah. doing the shenanigans. And the Much funny thing less. is, like we put out T-shirts too, and so a bunch of kids at the high school bought SC Demon C T-shirts and they oh, wore yeah. them to a cast meeting. Oh. <laughs> so all the kids. <laughs> So not only did we make $2,000, and then we have, like, the t-shirts and stuff, but they wore them to the kids. Oh, my God. And they, yeah. I lost a couple of friends out of that, because they thought what we were doing was kind of douchey and mean, but I'm like, (laughs) it was fun. No one got hurt. The show wasn't late. Nobody lost their opportunity to perform. It was fun. We were kind of like the audience fan favorites and stuff, so, like, God forbid the audience, 
you know, doesn't have to listen to any more kids covering Taylor Swift or whatever. Because yeah. <laughs> high school talent shows blow. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've, I've only been to one, and it was my sister's, and yeah, no, it was not good. Yeah. Yep. So... Um, yeah, that's kind of what happened afterwards. So that that's that was that a good story? That was a oh yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Yeah. And also, you did a you did a really good job uh, on especially the second song. I didn't know the first song, so I don't, you know. Yeah, that one was a little obscure. It's <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Wolfman by the Front Bottoms. We should have played Crust Bucket by the Frights. Hmm. Well, yeah. So, so yeah, good job, good job on that. That good was job. that was good. Gracias. Gold star, gold star gold on the star. fridge. <laughs> yeah yeah i oh man i need to chill out but the question was um how often do we get in trouble for shenanigans was and then we kind of went on this tangent but want to like return yeah. back to that original question <clears throat> i guess the thing is when i do shenanigans and stuff i try to make someone else the bad guy that's the trick is you need to make yourself the good guy and somebody else the bad guy so if you do something bad, for example, I stole candy out of this one kid's backpack. Oh, my God. But the thing is, he was stealing candy from other people. So that candy so was it's... rightfully everybody else's. So what I did was I got a big old group of people. We went into, like, the locker room and stuff, and we poured out all the candy in his backpack. It was full. And then we went around the school and distributed it like, you know, Santa Claus. Oh my god. Damn. That's 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 pretty great. So yes, we were stealing candy from a kid, but we were giving it to other people because he was stealing it from them, you know? Yeah. Mm. It was like a Robin Hood thing. Basically, if you're able to do something bad, but for good reasons, people generally don't get mad. Like I had an English teacher who like knew the whole thing. He knew exactly what was going on. He purposefully turned the other cheek and was like, I didn't hear about this because he knew that we were doing it for good reasons. Mm. That's the trick. So, no, I don't really get in trouble for doing bad things. Because, again, you know, you want to make yourself the good guy. That's right. <clears throat> also, it, also, it makes people root for you. And so when people are rooting <laughs> for you, you have fans and stuff. So, essentially, it makes yourself look good, you know. <laughs> I'm being really blunt with this, but, yeah. People like Fair it when you do bad things People for good like reasons. People like when you do bad things, yeah. Moral of the story, moral of, moral of your Do bad years. things for a good cause. Yeah, do bad stuff. Like, do if it If you can more kill often. a murderer, kill the murderer. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just kill, like, all the rapists and stuff. Give them what they deserve. Mm-hmm. That's right. No, let's rape all the rapists. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, fire with I'm, fire. Uh, <laughs> I think no. that might be a little counterproductive. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, then you would be a rapist, and so then you would need oh, to be. Yeah, exactly. Shit. That's more hypocritical. Than so then you just have this horrible circle of rape, and nobody wins. <laughs> well, yeah. Horrible what circle is rape of rape. Not a that horrible is the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> horrible circle of rape. Man, and we and thought this a, video would be family reunion right now. How's, oh, it, how's it going with that? Oh yeah, you're in a family reunion. Is your grandma giving you dirty looks? <laughs> yeah, she left. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so we're good. She oh, no, heard no, rape no, and she just gone. left. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, she was like, I don't want to lose. I remember changing his diapers. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, what was your first job? Because you mentioned the whole mes- Mexican restaurant thing in your video. That Yeah, um, the Mexican what was, restaurant. What was your first job? I plan on making a video about this. Um, I worked at a Chinese restaurant called Ben's Quick Walk. Hmm. And the thing is that it has, like, a white dude's name at the front, yeah. Ben's Quick Walk. Ben's. Ben doesn't sound like a guy who should be opening up a Quick Walk, you know? <laughs> William's Quick Walk. <laughs> well, that's because um, there was this American family restaurant. They, were, they had really great breakfasts and stuff. And they were in my hometown. It was really small. <clears throat> and basically, they weren't doing so great business-wise. And so an immigrant family came in. Um, from China, and they opened up a Quick Walk there, but they kept the original menu, so it's Ben's Quick Walk. Wow, that was a boring story that went nowhere. <laughs> and so basically, I worked as a waiter there, and so I would I shut up, phone. Oh my god, don't ever get YouTube famous, guys. It knows. It knows because your phone always goes off. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. So basically, um. 
I worked as a server, and most nights I was there all by myself. So I was running the restaurant completely by myself, just me and the cooks in the back. So that meant I had to serve people. I had to make sure everything was full of, like, you know, salt and whatever. And I had to sit people down and give them menus, and I had to make sure there were enough menus because there were never enough menus. And so there was always, like, four people sharing one menu. And then I had to clean up at the end, and I had to... It was very long, stressful job, but, like, towards the end of the night, it would just get really quiet and empty, and we always had Delilah playing, so I, like, really like Delilah now. <laughs> Do you guys know Delilah? You, you should be no. the opposite. Delilah. I love her. She's like Mr. Rogers, but with a vagina. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey there, neighbor. Oh, Won't you be my neighbor? Well, I mean, women can be neighbors, too, so, like... <laughs> There's no issue with that. <laughs> women, women, no, as na- no, women as you, neighbors are being oppressed. What are you oppressed. talking about? Women <laughs> can own houses? Of well, course this not. isn't the 30s, Grandpa. You're just going. You're, you just had too much cough syrup again. <laughs> women are being oppressed as neighbors, and we need to. We need to retaliate. <laughs> Who are we going to retaliate against? I don't. I don't. The male neighbors. <laughs> the male neighbors. <laughs> yeah. I think an all woman society would be awesome because they would like show us all like you know. How dumb men are. Because men are running <laughs> yeah. everything and everything's falling apart. So I think we should just have women take over. Yeah. That's right. We should just make it illegal for, for like men to do higher up like po- political things. Yeah. You know like, what else we should make? We what? should make a women's Ghostbusters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It'll work out really well. We should just make every single male character really stupid too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's, they uh, need to look good and, he- and be helpless. I guess, you know, with movies and stuff, you know, you have a lot of controversy regarding controversy. Um, <laughs> should white controversy him. should white actors play black roles and stuff? Like, should it? If let's just say it was like a book and stuff, um, if there's a black character, should their color change to like white or something like that? You know, and I guess there kind of is an issue with that and stuff. That's all I had to say about it. <laughs> all, right, all right, fair enough. You know. There's also right. like an uh, there's also an opposite issue with that cuz like you know for Marvel the original Nick Fury was actually white. But I mean like he's played really well with the guy. Yeah, no, Samuel yeah. Jackson is a wonderful Nick Fury. Yeah. I I guess you know white people have never really struggled to get film roles. You know, cuz like working is like I dare someone to work as a black actor and then somehow magically change the color of their skin and work as a white actor. They will have much easier job getting roles as a white actor than a black actor, you mm-hmm. know? It's just the way that our society is, and it really sucks. We need to work on fixing that. And the way that we do that is by making more roles of color. So I think making two roles that used to be white in a cast of 60 people who are white, I don't really lose any sleep being cool with that. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Just hello. My name is Straight White Male. Oh, you're hired. Oh. By the way, by the way, did I mention I'm an SJW? I just tried to not be annoying about it. <laughs> I am an SJW. That was not a meme at the beginning. Uh, I enough. like. I liked how they did it in the musical Hamilton. I don't know if you're into musicals, but I know of Hamilton, and everyone says Mr. Burser, and I'm like, what are you guys referring to? And I had to Google actually, it and be like, Yeah, it's actually Aaron Burser. Yeah. Pardon Turns me. out that dude is like my God. great, 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 great uncle. Um, oh. Even if you don't like musicals, I highly recommend that you listen to it. Uh, oh, yeah. Because I like Hamilton. Anyways, we're, we're both um, obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah. Les Miserables yeah. is like my favorite ever. So, you know, I, I, I know a couple musicals and whatever. Mm-hmm. I've seen Les Miserables literally over a hundred times. I love Les Miserables. <laughs> this is not an exaggeration. I can, Boy, I, do I have some people for you to talk to. Okay. Um, I remember sophomore year, I had a friend of mine be like, hey, Nate, how many times have you seen Les Miserables? And I'm like, over a hundred times. <laughs> and so to prove it to them, I, re- I ran through the entire show myself. I did every song, every line, word for word. I did the entire play for them. All right, then. I mean, it was got awesome. Some, we got some time. Come on. No, I'm yeah. No. Don't worry. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> no, the way that they did it in Hamilton was uh, he wanted to make it more modern style. So, like, they talk all modern. Because uh, it's it's set uh, when, like, the main character is Alexander Hamilton. And it's set when, you know, our country was becoming a thing. <laughs> um, 
And so, like, most of the cast, he made them black. Like, and, like, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. They, it. They're all amazing, honestly. I remember, like, junior year, I was thinking, I'm like, you know, I should make a rap musical. That would be so awesome, and no one's ever done that. That actually sounds interesting. But then I realized that Hamilton does, like, a lot of rap and stuff. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> never mind. <Yeah. laughs> Hey, you said it yourself. There is no more originality. You just got to hope that no one's seen the other one. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, hope that no one's ever heard of or seen Hamilton. Yeah. And I really, I really like the story of Hamilton. I think that's such a fascinating story in history. It's just my issue is that there are too many people who like Hamilton and that guy was a fart slinging hash bugger. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I think Alexander Hamilton is a straight up douchebag and he shouldn't yeah. have as many people who like him because Aaron Burr, that guy was just doing his own thing. He wanted to be like, yeah, cool. And Hamilton Wasn't it like kept on screwing it up. Yeah, Hamilton was like this petty little douche canoe. Exactly. Who cheated He's like, wife. hey, you know, because um, Aaron Burr's like stepdad ran against like his dad or something, his uncle against his dad, whatever. Oh, no, no, no. It was Aaron Burr running against um, Alexander Hamilton's, like, father-in-law or something like that. And Hamilton was like, hey, don't do that. And Aaron Burr's like, but I want to. <laughs> and Hamilton threw, like, this giant sis- like hissy fit. And then they were like, we're mortal enemies now. <laughs> and then Hamilton set him up and framed him for murder. I feel like I don't even have to see the musical now. Oh my god. Yeah, this is it. Hamilton's a douche. Um, Aaron Burr <laughs> yeah. didn't deserve any of this. The end. I think that should just be straight up the title of the podcast, Hamilton's a douche. Yep. <laughs> yeah, call it Hamilton's a douche. Alright, I'll, yep. I'll make that note here real quick. One minute. <laughs> you oh, broke darn. Did you you actually did something. You broke Earth. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to oh, get another this is glass gonna be of water. Such a, oh, I'm going to get another is glass of water. You kids talk amongst yourself for like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. I have to admit something. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I lied. Oh, <gasps> no. I got it. Not again. Mom. <laughs> What'd you lie about? God. Hey, Luke, you're getting Still the rules really? messed up. I'm mom. She's dad. Remember? <laughs> I'm sad. What is it, God. God. I got a glass of orange juice. <laughs> oh my god All right, I can't I'm believe you're leaving I, this If you guys put this up I'm gonna copyright strike you This is done <laughs> I'm done You kids are disgrace I can't even take I can't even trust you <laughs> Goodbye Oh um, yeah you're, Alright you're alright Nay. I'm gonna I'm about to hit you With a really big one You ready for this? Oh frick Oh man Oh frick storm you? cloak What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> That's a really good question. So basically, we had like these little croissants, mm-hmm. croissant kind of thing, Ooh. but we stuck sausage in the middle. So I had like oh, three of dude, those. croissant dogs. I love croissant dogs. My mom makes those. Oh god, that has I a would name. call them pigs in a blanket, but okay. Nah, yeah, n- croissant yeah, dogs. Yeah, pigs yeah. in a blanket. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Want some tasty croissant dogs. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Jaden, calm down. What if I want to call them up? Aggressive down. Not, I don't, he hasn't talked like this whole time, and now he's just coming back. His second wind. I, okay, in. I wasn't talking because I was putting a bed sheet and I was putting new sheets on my bed. <laughs> this is awful. Why? During the my my mom came in because she was like, "Hey, oh, got some sheets." Is that why I kept hearing your mic switch off? Sheets. Yes, it is. <laughs> I thought I heard that. Yeah, you heard my okay. mic switch off and on once. Right. Once right. each. Oh, Trinity. Oh. Yo, Trinity. what's up? I've got. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, heck. What? <laughs> what oh, is it, uh, that? I'm sorry. What's your most embarrassing moment? I'd probably say this podcast. <laughs> subscribe to no, these kids. Exactly. Oh, don't yeah, subscribe oh, wait, to wait, him. Wait, 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 wait. One don't more thing. sub one to me. Thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. We need to, we need to, we need to plug our stuff. Oh, what, Lion PC? No, 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 no. Just like all of our social media no. stuff. So I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Um, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash LukeNotLucas. You can find me on Twitter at it's LukeNotLucas. And 
don't find me anywhere else, or else I will block All you. All right, I'll go second. You can find me on YouTube at, I'm not going to say, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Mord underscore Fodsley, and that's it for me. I'll go third, and you can find Luke on uh, YouTube <laughs> under Papa Ween, B-O-P-O-W-E-E-N. <laughs> <laughs> Go look that up. That's funny. That's some lit oh, dang content. Uh, you can find me nowhere because I don't exist. Goodbye. All right, Trinity. You want to plug anything? Um, I don't have anything. That's a no, Howie. <laughs> uh, just yeah, okay. oh oh um here I'll plug I'll plug more. Uh, Luke, <laughs> don't forget to f- to look up Creeper Gaming RS on Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, and finally for the for the for the Uber Tuber boy Nate. Uh, hi, you can find me Go in the away. description at youtubecom slash PewDiePie. All right, <laughs> all right. Enough said. Um, yeah, that's that's all you need to know. All right, cool. And Thank you for yeah, listening. So... Get a better taste in media, apparently, because oh, that was oh, the first oh, episode. Oh, Awful oh, taste oh, in anything. Oh, if you're listening to this whole thing, I the sassy all cast. Right. Mm. <laughs> we and we better have done that note. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Go away.